everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy if you're new here and I do videos on beauty, fashion and lifestyle and at the moment DIYs. So I am at the moment in the process of kind of sprucing up my room. As I mentioned in my last video I'm going from sort of more grey sort of classic Essex girl theme to more I want that incorporate some more earthy tones, some more neutral tones. Um, so a lot of plants and sort of oranges and wicker and things like that. So I'm incorporating that in slowly but surely and one of the bigger tasks I think will make such a difference is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to be upcycling my grey IKEA desk. So this is one of the IKEA build your own desk systems which are amazing if you haven't seen them. Um, so basically you go into IKEA or on, online and they've got legs, they've got the option to have drawers instead of legs, um, tabletops. So you can basically completely customise it to what your vibe is, how much room you've got, how much storage you want. So I got this about, I'd say about two or three years ago. Um, and as my room was all grey, I went for the white Alex drawer unit. So I got the five drawers as one, which I'll show you in the clip. I've got some grey hexagonal legs. And then I've got a grey, a more beigey grey top. So this is sort of a geometric pattern, which I'll show you in the clip. And I just wanted to spruce it up. So I went to Wilco's and I've done this actually before. Um, so I went to Wilco's and picked up this wood wooden sticky rack plastic now this stuff is quite temperamental and takes a bit of a tender loving care but once you get it in nice it looks amazing um, I've got it in my beauty salon and um, for those you don't know I own a little at home salon um, and I covered my white table which was again an Ikea build your own unit and I covered it in marble paper so this roll is 67.5 centimeters by two meters um, and this was five pounds so it's very 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 cheap and it's a lot cheaper than buying a different top for it obviously with the ikea system you can just go in and buy a wooden top and i did look into doing that and it was going to cost me about 20 25 pounds so if i do this and i don't like the look of it i can change it and go and buy one but just save a little bit of money as I mentioned in my last video, instead of going out and buying loads of new home decor, I'm trying to DIY it and make as much of it as I can just to save money. I do like to change around my room a lot and I don't want to keep on switching it and having to pay loads of money. So this is a good thing using the same tabletop, so not making any more waste and let's jump right into it. So ignore the messy floor, even though I did have this morning, but black carpet, if you have it, you'll know the struggle. So at the bottom, I've got this white Alex drawer unit on that side, and then I've got these two legs, and then this gray sort of beigey top, sort of a geometric pattern. This is amazing. I do really, really like it. And at the time I loved it, but I do just want to spruce it up, as I said. So let's get on into it. So I've got you very balanced on a suitcase and my tripod, so I hope that doesn't fall over, but I've already dusted it with my duster from Poundland, but I'm just gonna spritz over with some Method anti back. You do wanna clean your surfaces thoroughly before you use this, just so it's got something to grip to. Now I use this desk to do my makeup on, so you can imagine it has got a couple of stains on, um, in all, it does wipe clean very nicely, so there's not too much stains. There's one little one here that I'm going to try and get out. Um, but apart from that, it actually has done really well, considering this is where I do my makeup. So I'm just going to give that a proper wipe over, and then wait for that to dry. So I've pulled it out from the wall slightly, just so it's I can get right to the back of it. I am going to cover this front little lip as well, just to make sure from the front it looks fine. The back, I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm going to leave it so the line is just right at the back. But as I say, front, I'm going to make sure it folds over just so it looks like all one piece. So the tools you'll need is your sticky wet plastic, obviously your surface, and then also definitely the best bits, which I'll show you at the end, is a credit card or some sort of card and also a pin. And I'll show you right in the end, but they're the tools you need. So nothing much really. Oh, and a pair of scissors to cut it. I 
see from the time lapse, I'm just, I've got my mum to help me. She's pulling the back back off of it. And then I'm just going with a card and just going along. We're only doing about two or three centimetres at a time. I'm just pushing out all the air bubbles. And don't worry if you've got any infections at the end, because I'll show you how to deal with it. as you saw from the time lapse that actually went on really smooth so i overlapped it at the front just so it went underneath there's a couple of bumps at the side which i'm going to show you how to smooth out any bumps there's also a couple here but on the whole that went on really smooth and on an overlook on it you wouldn't tell that that's stuck on you just think that's a solid wood piece and um, so i'm going to show you how you get rid of the bump so I don't know if this shows up on camera, but there is a couple of really tiny little bumps. Um, so first port of call, go in with your cards and just scrape over them. Now, if there's a couple large ones that aren't coming out, just get a pin. This is like a sewing needle and literally just poke a hole in it. And they're so small, you won't be able to see. And then go over it and the air all comes out of it through the hole. So just get your needle, poke it in. Then use your card to work the air through, and that all goes. I'm do a super zoomed in one, hope you'll be able to see. To be honest, I'm struggling to find a big one that I can show you. Um, I'll try and do this one here. So you might be able to see it, just a slight bump. So you literally just poke the needle in. It makes a tiny little hole that you wouldn't be able to see. And then just go over it with your cards and it completely smooths it out. Um, it does help. When I did the marble one, obviously the marble texture Although it was flat, um, it had sort of the black lines through it. So you really didn't see the holes and any infections really did just smooth over. The same with this wood. I think it was a block colour you were using. Um, then you might want to be a bit more precise. But to be honest, with two people helping you, it's so... Well, with one person helping you, so two people in total, it's absolutely fine. Another tip I'd say is don't um, scrape too hard. Because I don't know if you can see over here, but there is sort of scrape marks. But... For a really quick fix, if you want to just cover a table, this is really good. So I'm going to put you on a little time lapse, put all my things back on my desk, and then I'll come back to show you the final result. This is the desk all finished, popped on back on my mirror. Um, I don't know if any of you are going to ask, but the mirror my dad made for me um because i wanted a hollywood mirror and weren't going to pay the amount of money they charge for them so that's where that's from um but yes that's all done i'll go over where my little bits are from and how i've decorated it so i've got um these two candles both from tk maxx this one's a coconut one i just turned the label back around to the back that's a reed diffuser bottle that i put in some fake plants which i believe are from wilco's the little tray you probably recognise from my charity shop haul. And then I've got two little candles. This one's TK Maxx. This one's Bath and Body Works. And then my little £1 Ikea plant in my tin. That's also from Ikea that I showed in my DIY terracotta pots. Um, and these, this was a pound from Ikea as well. And that is my little desk area. I do have a clear chair, which I normally have a fluffy rug on. Um, so I'm going to pop that back on there. Um, I am looking for a new chair on the Facebook Marketplace and find, trying to find one nice and cheap. Um, but that's it all done. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video on how I upcycled my IKEA desk with some Wilco's sticky back plastic. Um, so any tips and tricks, I'd say definitely the pin with the card, definitely have two hands on deck because I think you definitely need two pairs of hands um, for one to peel back the paper and one to stick it on. In terms of measuring, I measured my desk before I went and they had three different sizes of sticky back plastic you could have. Um, so I obviously went for the wooden and I got mine in, I believe it was 67.5 by two meters. So plenty and I've still got some extra. So I'll be able to use this for a future project. I am thinking I might redecorate the legs, but I may spray paint them with my furniture paint so i'm potentially going to do that as well just so it's all very neutral rather than having the gray legs um and i think that's it really if you have any questions leave them below and i'll be sure to get back to you but if you'd like to see any more videos from me please hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video